Sawtac um, RTX 3090 teardown. Um, just looking at it, it seems to me that there's um, screws here, 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 here. I assume that they will hold the cold plate to the um, GPU. And then from what I can see, is another screw here and another screw here so let's try that first okay well I was correct so there seems to be a connector come on focus a connector there and then two connectors oops Two connectors here, oh, gold, and here. That's it, probably broken. Those connectors literally just carefully pull them out of the socket. Yeah, just to confirm, there's a screw there, which I thought there was, and there's a screw there. So they need to be taken out as well. I've just taken one of the screws out from here and as you can see so again be aware it's quite a bit shorter than those screws my advice <clears throat> and I've always done this when dismantling something is to once you've got the parts off screw the screws back into their respective holes and that way when you come to ever want to put the um, the cooler the, the standard air cooler back onto the card um, you've got a good chance of getting it right. Final two screws to undo. Um, although the cage is attached to the back plate, uh, not to the back plate, to the mounting plate or whatever you call it. One, two. You can't get the frame off um, without taking those screws out because of these things being underneath. So undo those. And again, guaranteed, there'll be probably a different length. Oops, there's also one in the middle. There we have the cage removed. And uh, I do confess it's actually, um, it's a metal cage, which is good. So now we have the card with the back plate still attached. I assume the back plate will peel off and you've got much better access to the two connectors for the RGB. You will see on the RGB, there's a couple of um, focus. There is a couple, it's very hard to point at something when you've got the phone in the way, there we go. A couple of light look like clips. So all I do, or all I did was, I just get my monkey cumbersome fat fingers and I just pull it off but it does come out but I can't do it with the phone probably the most nerve-wracking bit is prizing this apart um, as you can see there's nothing there but there are obvious um, thermal pads that are sticking and you can just see them so uh, be careful so that's the plate pulled away um, some of the thermal pads have come off with the plate and some of the thermal pads have been left uh, my advice is to carefully remove it and put them back onto the plate onto the back plate oops I keep thinking I'm pointing the phone at, um, at, at what I'm doing, but in fact, I'm not. So just make sure they're back there again, if you ever need to. Um, there you can see what everyone's been talking about. Um, so the next thing is to clean the paste off and then have a look at the instructions for fitting 
the Aquacool GPU block which is sitting here waiting. Like I've said, the best thing is, because you've got different lengths of screws, it's probably best just to put them back into the frame. If it doesn't go in the frame, then they go into the um, into the back plate. And the long ones, if you remember, they're the ones that go into the back plate. The shorter ones were the ones that went into the frame. And the really teeny tiny ones are the ones that go into this. Just remember to give the GPU die a good clean. Um, I do use this kind of blue paper. I've got rolls of it. And I also used um, this isopropanol, um, which I got off eBay. And it just makes sure that uh, all any um, grit, grime, etc. is off it. Although it doesn't look brilliant under a, under a camera, but then I find dust on any photograph uh, just loves to show itself up. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to offer up the um, the plate to the car to make sure everything fits. And I need to hope, I'm hoping that there is some way of reattaching this plate back to this. And we shall wait, we shall wait and see.